Hi everyone, welcome back. This is going to be the fourth video of our face mask detection tutorial series. Please watch my previous videos if you haven't watched yet. And uh, so far we have covered how to download image data set from Git. Then we have seen how you can unzip those data set. Then we have created visualize function where you can uh, visualize your random image through Python code. And then we have also worked on pre-processing where we have covered how to split data set, image augmentation, where we have seen how to de-scale. And then we have covered like uh, how you can use image data generator for various purpose. So in this video, we are going to create our own model architecture from scratch. So let's begin. Okay, so now we are going to define our model architecture. Okay, so before writing a uh, code for this uh, model, I just want to show you one website which is CNN explainer yeah so this is one of my favorite resources of all time on convolutional network so I want you to just have a play around with this for at least 10 minutes again there uh, is maybe a lots of stuff uh, that you haven't seen before but uh, that's okay just check out all those layers and the document they have provided so actually it's a tiny vgg convolutional network architecture they have used uh, four convolutional layer over here one two three four followed by ReLU activation function and they have also used max pooling layer so it's uh, basically multi-class classification uh, network so uh, just click on these uh, layers and you will get to know how uh, model is trying to find pattern in these images okay and the kind of doc document they have provided it's very helpful you can uh, get some intuition around it how this network is working even you can try with your own number you can provide padding and visualize how padding working how the kernel uh, looks like and how the strides move so th those things you will get to know over here it's very basic uh, uh, information but yeah you will get uh, uh, those understanding uh, around CNN so this model has trained on these many images right so you can click on any of these images and try to see how this layer or any layer working over here so just go through all these details uh, it will give you better understanding around CNN so okay so now let's move to our Jupyter notebook and we will try to replicate these layers uh, from scratch means we are going to write code for these layers and we'll train our data set on this VGG convolutional neural network okay so let's do that let's uh, set up Keras sequential model first so model equal to df dot keras dot models dot sequential so inside this we have to create all the layers okay so let's first uh, we are going to create our conv 2d layer okay so this is our first convolutional 2d layer so write tf dot keras dot layers dot conv 2d okay so here we have to pass few parameters which is 
filters we are going to use 10 filters if you see this we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 filters for each layer so that's what we are defining over here kernel size we are giving 3 activation function we are passing relu so vgg convolutional neural network also use uh, relu activation function now just pass input input shape equal to 224 224.3 yeah so we have defined our first layer so that's what this pre-processing function is going to do reshape our image into 224 into 224 uh, size or you can say pixel then also the 3 is going to be for color channel so that's where that comes from this this 3 and now we are going to go into another layer so now we are defining second conv 2d layer conv 2d layer okay df dot keras dot layers dot conv 2d we can also pass parameters like this 10 for filter 3 for kernel size and activation function we are going to again we are going to use relu okay so now we have uh, created our second layer right so now let's see what is our third layer here so first convolutional uh, followed with relu activation function again second convolutional followed with the uh, relu activation function now we have to create max pooling layer okay so let's do that max pool 2d layer okay so for that tf dot keras dot layers m is capital max pool 2d layer okay and we have to provide the pool size so that is 2 we are using here and the padding so we are going to use valid padding for this okay so now we have created our two convolutional layer with activation function relu and we have also created max pool 2d layer so let's see what is our next layer after max again we have to create one convolutional so let's do that conv 2d okay conv 2d okay df dot keras dot layers dot conv 2d let's pass the same parameter 10 3 activation would be now let's see what is there after conv 2d relu activation function again we have uh, so two conv 2d right after max pooling and then again one max pool 2d layer right so see that con uh, we 2d df dot keras dot layers dot con we 2d Okay. Pass the same parameters 10, 3, 
activation prelude now at the end we must come over here now at the end uh, after this at the end we have one max pooling layer okay so max pool 2d okay tf dot keras dot layers dot max pool 2d okay and just pass to over here pool size we are giving two and by default if you see uh, this padding is valid so it's not like we have to pass this by default it will take valid just so i want to show you over here that's why i passed valid over here so two is fine next so now we have created a, now create flatten layer tf dot keras dot uh, layers dot flatten okay and at the end we have to pass a uh, dense layer tf dot keras dot uh, layers dot dense and here we have to pass one because we want one output it's a binary classification model so at the end we want only mask or no mask right and activation we are going to use here is sigmoid right so relu is not defined okay it's required to this yes so now we have created our model architecture let's print the summary yes so so now you can see we have two convolutional layer with activation function relu right then we have one max pooling layer then again two convolutional again one max pooling and at the end we have this flatten layer right so let's see two convolutional max two convolutional max right two convolutional max two convolutional max and flatten and then so this is our model summary